Hey everybody, and welcome to, to another video of Solo Abandoned Bunker Confidence Builder. In this video, I'm going to be going over how can you get a blood sample from Brenner. Now, I've had people ask me a couple questions. Can you kill Brenner? And uh, what what is his blood even used for? So I'm going to answer those two questions real quick. You can't kill Brenner, first of all. And the reason why, we'll answer the second question. His blood is, he's basically a failed tech one experiment. Um, that is composed of phoenix tears. Like his blood is literal phoenix tears. He has phoenix tears being pumped into and out of his heart every second you speak. So he is essentially indestructible, which I find pretty surprising considering that, you know, <laughs> you can't even heal a basic injury with phoenix tears. But hey, but anyways, guys, um, in this video, what I'm going to be doing, obviously, is just showing you the methods of like, how can you obtain the blood as a solo. And I'm going to give you guys a couple examples with a couple clips that I recorded earlier today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So real quick, guys, before I do get into the rest of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little uh, recommendation on like which weapons to use. So you have either the M82 sniper rifle or you have the M249. I've only ever seen people use these two weapons right here. I'm sure there's more weapons you could use. I'm sure you could really use any weapon, but... I've only ever seen people use these two weapons right here. I would personally recommend the M82 because I feel like the M249 takes a lot more rounds to, it takes at least 100 rounds from, from what I've seen, or maybe 50. I forgot which one it was. I, I, I don't ever use that. I've only seen people u use it in YouTube videos. But the M82 is definitely better because it's a one-shot hit to Brenner's head and you stun him and potentially drop blood. So that's my go-to for uh, this video. Okay guys, so this first part is going to be me explaining the method of how to get Brenner blood. I'm not actually going to draw Brenner upstairs just yet. Um, I'm just going to go inside and kind of like walk you guys through it on like what you need to do, what doors you need to shut, um, how to avoid making so much noise while getting Brenner to the front. So, First thing you want to do when you enter the bunker guys, make sure you do shut this front blast door. The reason is because not only for PvP purposes, but Obviously with 0.95 now, you got the hordes. And when you spawn a horde inside of a bunker at the front, especially, um, you're going to have hordes pouring in not only from inside, but from outside too. So make sure you have the front blast door shut, especially when you try to escape, because if you have hordes coming in when you're trying to escape, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty hectic. All right, so I'm in the gen room and we're going to put a 600 fuse in. So we're going to power A, B, and C. So we're going to make our way to C block. And make sure you get guys leave this door open right here. And you want to make sure these areas are cleared before you do draw burner up here. So we're going to clear this area out. Puppets. I'm going to back up before we shoot. All good. Out that guy, he's dead. Let's wait a second. All right. All right. So here we are in C block. Um, what we want to do is make sure E block is clear. So we have a puppet in there, an armored puppet. Same. So we're gonna take him out. All right. And then do a full sweep of C block before we draw Brenner upstairs. Want to be safe. Make sure there's no razors, no puppets. We're all good. So what you would then do when you're at C block, um, you can do a depository or armory, doesn't matter. You want to fail the codes. You can just type any of these codes three times and the alarm will go off. And then what's going to happen is um, Brenner is eventually going to come upstairs. And whenever you see that yellow gate open, you're going to stay here, by the way. You don't want to move at all. You want to just stay here, wait for Brenner to come upstairs. As soon as you see that yellow gate down there open and Brenner comes through, let him catch sight of you, let him chase you for a second, and then start moving down towards B block. All right? And if Brenner is not following you still, get back in his sight, make sure he sees you, and then continue. And when you're going down B block, guys, make sure you're jumping like this. Because if you look at the sound meter to the, to the bottom left, you'll see that you're making minimal noise. While yes, you do hear ominous music and you might hear rattling um, still, like there for example. 
um, you're, you're creating minimal noise. So you're not going to make as much noise and you're not going to spawn razors as fast. So make sure you do that when you're running from Brenner. It's also faster. So when Brenner is about right, yeah, when Brenner comes through that yellow gate, like I said, guys, you don't want to shut these gates when you're running from Brenner. Because what's going to happen is those gates make a lot of noise when you open and close them. And I mean a lot. Pretty much, so like for example right here. Let me close this. When you close that, look how loud the ominous music gets. And then we're going to open it. It didn't rattle for some reason, but those gates do make a lot of noise when you open and close them. And if you're doing that while running from Brenner, you're going to spawn razors. So just don't do that. Leave them open. So when you're about right here and Brenner's still following you up towards the, the exit, you want to grab your M82 out. And you want to position yourself right here, kind of. See these wooden crates and this little shelf? You want to posi position yourself in between those right here. Because you have a drop point down there to the right, and then the drop point up there. You want to make sure you're, you're in between them. And the only time, when you, when, you sh when you shoot the gun guys, the only drop points uh, razors will fall from are in the gen room and the sleeping quarters because those are parallel to this position. So Brenner's gonna come up, you'll pop him in the face. If you see him drop blood, you're gonna come down here. And this is very important what you do ne next right here. Make sure you shut this yellow gate. Make sure you shut that yellow gate, okay? That way if any razors or puppets come through, um, they can't open the door. Puppets, yes, obviously can open the doors now, but razors can't. And obviously you wanna make sure F block is closed too. If you have enough time, I would recommend closing that before you even start doing this whole thing because you don't even need F block regardless. But anyway, once Brenner turns around, you're then gonna pop him in the face again. And then like what? let him get about right here a little bit or wherever it is, a good distance from the blood. And then get your syringe out. Let's say it dropped right here you're gonna extract it and then once you got it you're gonna pick up the phoenix tier and take off running towards the exit And something else I forgot to mention, guys, if you are going to be doing this at all as a solo, make sure you have at, at least advanced medical skill. Because 
what's gonna happen is when you stun Brunner and you go go to extract that blood, it's gonna take some time if you have a lower medical skill. But I have advanced medical, so and even then I still get burned by Brunner a little bit. Sometimes, you know, Brunner still turns around in time to get a little bit of a burn on me. Not too bad, but he still does. So I would definitely recommend having at least advanced medical. Well, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's how you do it right there, guys. That's how you can get Brenner Blood as a solo. Now, I know a lot of you are probably going to say something like, this is very dangerous. It wasn't worth it. Um, you shouldn't waste your time doing this because, you know, you could get killed. You have nobody to watch you. While you may be right, um, I do think it's worth it. One, think about it. You're a solo. You don't have to share your Phoenix Tears with any of your teammates. You don't have to... Split that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Every Phoenix tier that you earn from Brenner is going to you. Also, not everybody can really lockpick. Not everybody can lockpick medical lockers. So Brenner Blood, it is a more dangerous approach, but it's something you don't have to use screwdrivers or lockpicks for. So that's a def that's an alternative method for those who can't lockpick. And at the end, I did make a couple mistakes. Um, for example, I didn't close the blast door when I went back inside to follow Brenner. Um, I didn't position myself properly and I didn't really take any painkillers in that second clip. So that is something I also messed up on. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and be sure to hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of uploads and live streams. I have been live streaming a lot lately, so stay tuned for more of those. And make sure to leave a comment if you guys have any feedback for me or if there's anything you, you'd like to suggest. I'd love to hear you guys. But other than that, though, have a great day and see you guys in the next video. See you.